July 25th is undoubtedly one of the biggest fights, if not the biggest fight in 2023 in boxing. Unbeaten Ali a monster Inoue will be trying to win his fourth division world title against WBC and WBO super bantamweight champion Stephen Fulton on Tuesday, July 25th at the Ariaki Arena in Tokyo. These guys have no problem matching against each other and that's rare air in this day and age. Inoue targets a title in a fourth weight class, and the undefeated Fulton is looking to add to his own legacy by defeating the modern Marvel in hostile territory. These guys are calling each other out and making the fights happen. Both fighters are in their prime. <laughs> Inoue has captured world titles at light flyweight, super flyweight, and bantamweight. The monster is the monster, and he's the monster for a reason. The defining fight of Fulton's career come when he faced off with Brandon Figueroa becoming WBO and WBC Super Bantamweight title. But had I not planned my career out, I wouldn't be here right now. I've planned everything that I'm doing right now. Naoya Inoue will be taking part in his 20th consecutive world title fight, while Fulton faces a fifth undefeated fighter in six bouts in what will be his second defense of his unified crown. He's going to the Winnipeg class and he's taking on literally the number one guy. There's a lot on the line for both fighters and we should get a high-level fight as a result. Going out to Japan and defeating him in his country, that's major. Inoue has been one of the sport's best and most dominant fighters for years. After winning the WBC title at 108 pounds in just his sixth fight, Inoue went up to 115 pounds two fights later and won the WBO title. This guy is a beast. After seven successful title defenses, it was clear Inoue was a special fighter with elite stopping ability, scoring TKOs in 14 of his first 16 career fights. A fighter who can do a little bit of everything. After moving to Bantamweight, Inoue scored quick knockouts of Jamie McDonnell, Juan Carlos Pano and Emmanuel Rodriguez before winning a unanimous decision over Nanito Donier in 2019's Fight of the Year to take the WBA, IBF and WBA titles, continuing his rise as one of the sport's elite talents. He followed that win up with the blitzing of Paul Butler to grab the WBO title and claim undisputed status. I finally became the undisputed and the bantamweight uh, world champion. Thank you very much. Fulton is Philly fighter to the core, a well-schooled technician who has also shown a willingness to bite down on his mouthpiece and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with foes wanting to slug it out. Philly boxers, our mentality is different. Like, it's the mentality, how we carry ourselves. Unlike Inoue, Fulton was not fast-tracked to a title shot. Fulton did not actually fight for a world title until the 19th fight of his career when he defeated Angela Leo in January 2021 to win the WBO Super Bantamweight title. I, I really like testing myself, putting myself up to a test and see how good I am. The defining fight of Fulton's career to date would come later that year when he faced off with Brandon Figueroa. I'm the type of fighter that I overcome everything. I don't wear it down. I overcome things. Fulton ultimately won a majority decision and added the WBC title to his collection. Cool boy, Steph Steven! After beating Daniel Roman by one-sided unanimous decision, Fulton was ready for a legacy-defining fight against Inoue. This fight right here shows I, I have the dog in me. If, if, it to, if, it needs, if I need to stay in there, I'll stay in there but, and I also can box. While Inoue takes the risk of moving up and wait for Tuesday's clash, Fulton will travel across the Pacific Ocean to face Inoue in his native Japan. This fight will be Inoue's first venture into 122 pounds. Naoya Inoue is challenging himself and try to become a four division champion, do something historic. If there's a reason to doubt Inoue, it's the fact that he's taking on the best the division has to offer in his first fight at the new weight. <laughs> Fulton is a natural in the weight class and will be the bigger, stronger fighter. It's a challenge for Inoue in the sense that he's fighting a bigger guy than he's used to. Even if Fulton doesn't have great power, he's still going to have some advantages which minimizes the physical advantages that Inoue has had against smaller opponents. Not only bigger and stronger, but he has skills too. And Fulton got the skills to uh, back up his size as well. Stephen Fulton is taking a big risk by choosing this fight. The monster is going to go in there and try to take it. 
He's the champion. There were other options available. I'm the one that got the division popping right now at 122. Me. The key to Fulton winning is by staying calm and not standing in front of Inoue for too long because the Japanese fighter will be loading up with all of his shots, looking to score a single punch knockout, as he always does. If you bang the body, you start to paralyze the head, and then, in a way, can be the monster and get what he wants. Fulton must take advantage of Inoue being spoiled from his many years of having things his own way. Inoue runs over everyone, no one can touch him, but I don't think that's the case. I think Fulton has a real chance in this fight. What Fulton lacks in pure punching power, he makes up for with elite defense. He knows how to not allow the other man to work. He's excellent at using his movement to frustrate opponents. If Fulton confuses him, keeps him on the outside, uses uses his reach and turns him, he has a chance of winning, winning the fight. There's no doubt in my mind. But if he can keep his distance and force Inoue to chase throughout the fight, he has a shot to make things interesting. He's going to surprise Inoue because he got more power too. Inoue is deserving of his pound for pound rank. He, he has that supreme confidence that you can't beat him. They don't call him the monster for nothing. He has demolished so many of his opponents in multiple weight classes and has been a destroyer no matter what weight class he's in. <laughs> to pull off the upset Fulton is going to have to land some offense of his own. And that's where it's hard to see his upset big having success. This will be my breakout fight. Inoue might not land a knockout blow, but his skill and power are going to be enough to win over the judges.